Well, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, it's a real pleasure to uh, have uh, Foreign Minister Osmani here. We are welcome. Welcome to the State Department. Welcome to Washington. Um, our newest NATO ally, but also uh, I'm very pleased that we've initiated the strategic dialogue, uh, which I think will only serve to deepen cooperation, coordination, collaboration uh, between North Macedonia and the United States. We're very, very pleased to do that. Uh, and I also want to say um, how much we appreciate the very significant reform agenda that uh, North Macedonia has been engaged on, on democracy, uh, on energy, uh, on regional economic uh, initiatives. All of these are significant, uh, they're important, and we support them very much. Equally, uh, we strongly support um, North Macedonia's EU uh, accession uh, process uh, ambitions. Uh, we very much want to see that uh, move forward, and we'll continue to uh, help support that in any way that, uh, that we can. Um, and of course, we have a lot to talk about when it comes to uh, Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Uh, as it happens, I think uh, you were just in, in Kyiv um, uh, on one of the days when I was speaking to our friend Dmitry Kuleba, the, the foreign minister there, so I'm anxious to exchange uh, views with you on, uh, on that. But for now, welcome. Very good to have you here. Thank you so much, State Secretary Blinken, dear Anthony. Thank you so much for the warm welcome and the hospitality, and also thank to your team for the exceptional organization. This is such an important day to us, launching of the strategic dialogue between the United States and the Republic of Macedonia represents a significant milestone in our overall bilateral relations, and I think it's a logical step forward since 30 years of established diplomatic relations and 15 years of strategic partnership, and particularly two years allies in uh, NATO. Uh, I think that this will open a new chapter of cooperation, will frame our overall cooperation, put some dynamism and predictability. And this is particularly important now when our values have been challenged. And as like-minded countries that we share uh, same values, we need to be closely coordinated to address those challenges. We are grateful for the support that the United States have been providing to North Macedonia throughout uh, the years. The political support that has brought us to this uh, day to have a functional multi-ethnic democracy, uh, a unique kind that serves as a reference, I would say, as a model to the region, but also as a uh, democratic uh, governance and uh, democratic uh, institutions. I think the highlight of our cooperation uh, has been our membership to NATO, and we are grateful for the support you have been providing to, to us. It was our first and most important strategic uh, goal to North Macedonia. We are trying these two years to, uh, to be of added value, not only to the alliance, but in our region as a constructive NATO partner. And we are also grateful for supporting us uh, in our uh, EU membership aspiration. It was crucial to us that you see it as a strategic uh, goal, but also for supporting our society to meet the criteria. And uh, we will continue to work to, uh, together in overcoming the last uh, disputes we have in order to become a member of EU and to push forward the entire region into Euro Atlantic anchoring. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for having me.